There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Hey, you guys, so we're just going to jump right into this. This is a 13 by 4 by Reshine Hair. I've worked with them prior, and this is what the inside of the cap looks like. There are combs and adjustable strap. I didn't sew an elastic band in because I really didn't think that it was needed. I did bleach the knots of this unit, and then I also pre-plucked it. So I'm going to show you guys how your wig comes straight from the mail. Now this point that I'm pointing right here is some of the slots were kind of like sewn over. So that was kind of difficult. Me in the night. We both know when it's right. Babe, I can ease your mind. But I want it. just gonna get into cutting this these are like one of my favorite scissors right now which are the thread snips and I'm also using the magnifying portion of my mirror because your girl cannot see so I actually worked with this company prior I probably like twice what have you their hair is very inexpensive it is deep wavy hair virgin Brazilian as you guys can tell I did um, bleach the knots in this unit so it doesn't look the same as when I received it and I also pre-plugged just a little bit of the unit as well. And from my understanding, it is a 13 by 4. I will leave all of the information down below for the unit. So I'm going to be kind of lazy with this particular video because I really don't feel like you need too many baby hairs or wispy hairs, especially when it comes to curly hair. So I'm just going to take out little small sections and just spray in little small sections. Sometimes, and you know, I just don't really want to spray the whole perimeter of the front portion of my hair because it's actually not always needed. So I'm going to take my got to be instant hold and just spray in small sections. Also, this hairspray 
to me seems very filmy especially when you use a blow dryer with it so in my opinion i would definitely allow this hairspray to just air dry it seems to me like when i do use the heat on it it'll give like a white filmy residue kind of appearance so to me i just rather just allow it to air dry especially if you're doing small sections i think you can definitely just allow it to air dry it dries very quickly And of course I'm going to use the blow dryer because it is for video purposes, but I do try to keep it on like a medium temperature. Now you see how it kind of gave it like that white filmy look. And I'm be honest, I'm not really like the hugest fan of this hairspray. I'm not even sure why I keep using it because I do have other hairsprays. I do have the pink can of got to be, which I favor the most. And also I have the bed head in the silver can, which to me does not give any type of white filmy residue. And even though I took out um, this particular amount of hair, I'm not going to use all of it as sideburns or what have you. But the unit fits comfortably, even though the slots where the adjustable strap was supposed to hook into were sewn together, I still was able to kind of like crisscross applesauce the straps. But you know, that's a downfall. I wish they wouldn't do that. And I hope for this portion of the video that they do realize that they sewed the slots together and not make that mistake because I mean you can unseam them but why would I want to do all of that and for the hair to be so inexpensive it does come out really nice the curl pattern of it is really good the lace is not invisible because you guys can see it but it's not that bad okay on a threshold of a scale of 1 to 10 I would say I would give them like at least an eight because the cap size fits amazing. The hair quality is really good. And also, you know, it was easy to apply. Sometimes I do notice with cheaper wigs, the lace is very hard to adhere and you definitely have to go in small pieces. But this one, it's turning out pretty good. You know, I bleached it. It didn't take long, about 30 minutes to bleach. I did use the 30 volume developer. And then I allowed my purple shampoo to sit on for about three hours and that will take all the brassy tones out that's why i leave the purple shampoo on for like three hours now as you guys see this makeup did not help any um i strongly suggest not using this hairspray with heat do not i have noticed this when i use the hairspray and just allow it to air dry just when i'm not doing a video and i'm just applying a wig you know i will spray the hairspray and i'm kind of lazy and i don't feel like getting up and plugging the hairspray the uh the blow dryer in so i'll just allow it to air dry in small sections and i never have any type of white residue left if i allow it to air dry so if you have that issue maybe you'd want to just try allowing to air dry and see how that works out for you if not i would suggest using a different hairspray in all now this hair styling mousse is my favorite it comes from the dollar tree you guys have seen me use this in all of my videos for a dollar make me holla this hairspray is amazing i mean excuse me this mousse is amazing for a dollar like it does not lift your wig up like the got to be mousse does that i did purchase too that stuff always lifts my wig up, so I don't even bother to use it. Why pay more when you can pay less and get better results? So if you're at the Dollar Tree and you see Salon Selectives, girl, get you a can. I've been using this for years. They did change the packaging, but it still looks amazing. And as you see, I did place an elastic band around my head. This just helps sculpt the hairs, the baby hairs, and hold them in place until I am done with, you know, styling the wig. Now the parting space is great on this. You don't get a lot of parting space on the sides, but directly in the middle, you get a lot, which is great. And I just take this hairspray, this water bottle, and it does have leave-in conditioner in it, and I just spritz this on the hair. Now, you definitely would want to put conditioner in your spray bottle, only because if you just spray direct water onto your unit, it's going to dry the hair out. So you want to spray some type of moisturization in there. And girl, this blow dryer gets super duper hot, as you guys can see, like my scalp was burning, okay? But it's a really good blow dryer. Though I want something much smaller than this, I've seen like some really nice ones that are smaller. Now, as you see, the hairs are laid, but I'm going to clean up the area. And I really don't like them too, too close and kind of like I don't really care for the baby hair stuck to my head. So that's the reason why I like to use the salon selectives. 
because it does not give you a crunchy hair feel. And as you see right here, I can easily brush them out of being stuck onto my flesh and they still hold a nice kind of sculpting appearance to them. So that's the reason why I like to use the salon selectives. And I'm just gonna, you know, finagle these baby hairs in this unit. And I'm also going to pull the hair up to upwards because that will allow it to look like it's growing out of my, scal my scalp. But for a cheap wig, this came out great. Just don't use that hairspray. I, I guess I'm gonna use it until I have no more. But I'll leave all the information down below for Reshine Hair. They have some really decent wigs for the price. I hope you guys enjoyed this voiceover. Check out that part. I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. You know, girl, stay diva and devolicious as always. I love you all, and I'll leave everything down below. And thanks for staying tuned and giving me the time to watch these videos. And I will definitely see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Bye.